Hey, uh, so I'm trying to figure out why the desktop audio is not coming through. It should be set up just right. Um, I guess let me check the audio properties on here. Preferences, gameplay, audio. Nope, none of that. None of that's working. What am I doing wrong here? Is that straight to just that? Yeah, if I send it to that, hold on. Hold on, just a sec. I gotta mess around with some stuff. Aggregate device. Uh, hold on, I gotta go to audio MIDI. That one. Hold on a brief moment. Yeah, it should be going to both of those, but it's not. I what? What are you doing? I show you. Audient. Audient is the master device in this case. That should all be good. Right. Yeah, sorry. This one is... Uh, I didn't realize how much <laughs> I needed to do to get the, the desktop capture to work. But uh, we're figuring it out. Oh, audio's not going at all. So if I do that... Hmm. And if I select, I show you. Well, now maybe there's no audio at all. Let me, let me test something. Is my controller not working now? Ah, uh, what's going on? I thought I had everything set up. What is the start button? Start options. Yes, it's. There, do it. It was working a minute ago. Oh, come on. Okay, let me stop this and then, uh, set it back up. Ooh, so yeah, sorry. This is kind of technical difficulties. Okay. Okay, that's audio going to you guys. So that just completely turns the audio off. And the controller's not working. What's going on? It's connected. Like it recognizes that I'm using it. Oh. That's why I had to set it back up again. Uh, son of a bitch. Hold on. Hey, Andrew. I'm having some difficulties getting this set up. Um, but, I mean, hopefully it should actually be a one-to-one -one thing and it shouldn't be laggy like my other stuff ends up being. Oh boy, it is frustrating me. I also apologize for not uh, responding to your messages on Facebook recently. Um, Andrew, I've, I just, uh, it has been a weird weekend, so I will certainly be getting back to you about that after the stream here. We also gotta figure out when we're gonna do our predictions for Double or Nothing, because that's happening next, like, less than a week now. So we gotta we gotta record that, and I'll put it out, and everybody can everybody can hear. See see what uh see what what we get. We did pretty good last time. There was only one spot that we messed up. Plus, I still gotta record my punishment from last time, which it's been on my to do list since last time. <laughs> I've just. 
yeah, the ladder match is really throwing me. I don't know what um, what's going to happen with that. All right, so if I do this correctly. No, wait. It doesn't need to be an aggreg aggregate. It needs to be a multi-output. So as I show you and audience, we're going to... We're gonna name this desktop audio. So then I will set it to desktop audio. I will reopen open emu. <clears throat> One more shot here. One more shot. Let's see if it works this time. It should not be just a bright white screen. Oh, it's doing this crap again. God damn it. I don't know what it is with the open emulator, but it just keeps doing this thing where it just freezes on the first frame and it's just stuck like that. And it just like, yeah, it tries to quit. You hit this, stop emulation, nothing happens. It doesn't happen. And look, if I'm in force quit, it doesn't say it's not responding. So it apparently is working fine, but it's just not resp not working according to it. Uh. Thought I had all this set up. If this does not work, I'm probably just gonna play like something else as a consolation, I guess. So I'm gonna try one more time to get this to work and if it does not oh well oh crap it's my brother's birthday today hmm I was gonna get him something but he never gave me his address I know where he's living right now no nope it's done for not working oh well yeah let's quit Stop it. Uh, what should I play instead? I got everything set up. <laughs> yeah, rip indeed. I got everything set up for the desktop because I didn't. Re I I like changed the um resolution and stuff so that it would work better, but uh didn't end up working. I don't know. Let me go to Steam. Let's see what I have. <laughs> I just got a bunch of like tabletop uh digital versions of tabletop games, so maybe one of those. School y'all on how to play the tabletop games. I was just playing Village earlier. It's really fun. It's it's probably one of my favorite tabletop games. And nobody else in my house believes it. They just don't understand. They don't understand me. Hmm, what do we have? Slay the Spire is not bad. Stardew Valley is always a good go-to. I mean... Uh, there are other emulators, but none of them really work. Like, OpenMU is pretty much the only reliable emulator for Mac. Other than, like, Dolphin for Wii and GameCube stuff. But this is not Wii or GameCube. So it's not going to be very helpful. Evoland. Oh, the Escapists? Hmm. <coughs> I'm not very good at Agricola, so I don't want to. I don't want to show off to everybody that I'd suck at that game. <laughs> Excuse me. I would do Scythe, but uh, yes, on Mac. I don't have a PC. I I had one for a time, but then I got like an actual. I got a MacBook, and yeah, it's uh, it's not very open, but the stuff that it does have tends to work except for yeah op open emu does not work why am i why is my angle like this hold on i am actually getting a um i ordered an actual camera so i might use that for the streams in the future for the time being i still just have the webcam hmm Steam, I want to get more into SteamWorld Heist, but it's like, it's it's a time investment. 
Offworld Trading Company. I don't know. I don't know how hardware intensive that would be. Because I don't want to, like, blow out the CPU on my computer. Hmm. Let's do some Pagel. Let's do some Pagel Knights. I know that one's going to be fairly low, uh, low, uh, what do you call it? Uh, uh, resource. Pagel. Pagel one. Pagel Knights. There we go. And then I just got to... Whoops, whoops, whoops. Hold on. Grabbed the wrong one. There we go. Let's just center that. There. Okay. It's not what I advertised, but it's uh, it's something. Let me turn off this PlayStation controller. There we go. I don't want to blow out the batteries on that. Okay. Peggle, which I'm going to do what I usually do and actually have it just on my uh, armrest, since this is just a clicky game. Where's my... Oh. Uh, yes, there it is. There's the cursor. My name is Iggy Kid. Okay. I'm approved. I'm going to Peggle school. Ah, what a classic Peggle. Anything from PopCap, really. Like, I've, I've always loved their stuff. Ooh. Continue. There's also, I don't know how many people have played, um, Peggle Extreme, which is a free Peggle, uh, that is based around all of the Valve properties, so, like, Half-Life... So it's still Peggle, but it's like the backgrounds are like head crabs from Half Life and like a TF2 scene and stuff, um, Portal. And it's just kind of a promotional thing. It's only like, I think, 10 levels long. Um, but it's, it's, I mean, it's Peggle. If you've already beaten all the other Peggle, it's still an option. Still new content. I doubt we're ever gonna get another Peggle game at this point, which is fine, I guess. I've actually never beaten the original Peggle. I've gotten pretty far now. I realize I had the same realization recently, so I uh, I was going through and like trying to actually finish the whole thing. It gets pretty hard later on. And remember, I'm not a huge fan of um... Andrew. Stop. Stop, Andrew. Also, you can be a top and still get pegged, okay, so it's not, it's not about that. Um, but, yeah, I'm not, like, a huge fan of, like, Rooster Teeth or anything like that. I, I like some of their stuff. I feel a lot of it just always feels kind of underwhelming. But there is a video uh, where Jeff and Jeff Gavin and Jeff's wife Griffin, I think. Oh, I feel bad for forgetting, but um, they were like roommates and they've been working on the Xbox achievement for hitting every single peg in Peggle. E all of them, not missing a single one for the entire game. Like, not just the orange, like, all the blue ones, too. And they worked on it for years. So if you want to see something super triumphant, go track down that video and watch them stress out over Peggle while they try and hit every single peg. I can't, I cannot imagine. Especially, they were playing the Xbox version, so, like, it would have been extra difficult. Oh, one, is your name Andrew? I only know you as one, so. Oh, 
Oh wow. Yeah, the, I I'm kind of a an anomaly online. Although it's becoming more popular nowadays, especially with people trying to find work online, but I'll just go by my name. Just go by my name, you know? I don't think of anything. I don't go with any like cool nicknames. I mean I guess Iggy Kid is like a stage name, but it's effectively my real name at this point. Most people who I communicate with call me that. It was interesting, um, Aaron Hansen talked about that when he first moved to LA and he met a lot of people from Newgrounds and stuff. Uh, at first they would always t call him like Ego Raptor or Ego or something like this on his online handle and it was a long time before they started calling each other by their actual names. Which I can relate. I've been to a lot of cons with like online friends, and it's um, it, it feels like a rite of passage when you finally get to the point where you can call each other by your actual names. You're finally comfortable enough for that. Oh no! Nope. Super guide is a pretty underwhelming ability. Like, it's a little useful, but once you've been playing Peggle for a little bit, I guess that's why it's the first one. To, uh, get you acclimated. Ooh. There you go. Oh, right, that is like a thing. You know, where, like, you, got, you go by the last name, like, Sama or whatever, and then you slowly work your way up to no longer using the, uh, the the honorific which is one thing I feel that a lot of visual novels lose in translation is that without the it, some of them will still try and put the honorific in but it can be kind of confusing um, so like by including the honorific it can be helpful is Sama not an honorific? I don't know, man. I don't speak Japanese. I know random singular words and foods. I, I know a lot of the foods. I don't really know any of the actual stuff. Chan. Chan is an honorific. San. I don't know. I don't know which is which. Coco actually explained it to me pretty recently. Because we were having a pretty similar conversation. Um... I don't really know... Oh, I guess I just forgot. I also have kind of a headache. I, I just had a bunch of tempura. And it made my brain hurt. Probably, probably it takes a from PM. Pass the heck out. Well, yeah, but don't you, can't you also call a person Sama? What is the, what is the, what is the criteria for each one? Get it, you're playing, what, Mist? I don't know. Hold on, let me, let me update the stream info so people aren't coming in to see a game no one is looking for and getting another game no one is looking for.
Pagel Extreme. Pagel Blast. Dual Shot. World of Warcraft. Hopefully that updated appropriately. Listen. It says casual playthrough. All right, I know I'm not good at pig. <laughs> but it is a single player game. I'm not entering a tournament yet. At least the audio is working with this. I wasn't even paying attention um, to whether or not the audio was working. Actually, let me, let me turn Pagel itself down just a touch. So that I'm not having to compete with it too much. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Eh? Uh, what, 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 what? Okay, there we go. Sometimes the cursor doesn't show up right away. Maker 2. I mean, I guess it was Mario Maker 2. I can't trust this app. This app never, like, sets it to the correct game or anything. It says that it saved it. I don't know. What... Any of you that are on, like, desk... Or if it, either of you are on desktop, what does it say for the stream title and the game that I'm playing right now? gonna play for too long still got animal crossing to do today we're gonna have to do some time traveling i know i know but you can get mad at me whatever i um I just i don't know saturday was kind of weird and like busy so i mi i missed my Nook Miles, and I totally missed the turnips this morning because I slept in, so... I'm gonna fix that! Okay, well... What does the title of it say? Because, like, I, that's the main thing I see is that, like, I can kind of change the game from the app, but then if I, um, if I change the title of the stream... Uh, it doesn't seem to take if it was from the app. So as far as I know, it could still just say AFK. Or it could still say the thing that was going to be about Banjo-Kazooie. Can't, I cannot get it to do what I want it to do. Streaming is kind of crappy and difficult. But not for any good reason. Like, most of these problems are... Things that should be pretty easily solved by the the um by the platform. But whatever. It's working at least, technically. Getting, you know, a solid frame rate, all things considered. Compared to compared to what I've been getting off of the consoles from the friggin' Elgato. Really, really kind of regretting the Elgato decision. So let me tell you, the one I, I don't know which one I got, but um... Okay, that is, that is the correct title for the stream, so... That works! I mean... The thing I found 
because I've only time traveled very short times regularly is um you should never time travel forward if you are planning on going back to real time because anything that you get past real time it will revert it back to whatever it was at when you go back to real time so if you time travel forward you have to stay forward if you want to keep any of the stuff you did but if you time travel backwards it should be okay for the most part blockers oh you know it'd be amazing to play on here would be um trauma center there's no way I, I just I gotta find a capture for DS um, there's one on eBay that you can get for like 80 bucks you basically send them your new 3ds and they uh, mod it and it's wireless apparently which is pretty cool but I'd have to get a new 3DS, because I still only have the original 3DS. That's... that sucks. But, whatever. If I'm getting it for this, you know, I'll just wait until, um... Until things get bigger with this. I think that will probably be what I do when I get, uh... When I get enough followers to be affiliate, I will... I will invest in a... A new 3DS with the... With the capture. If they're still doing it at that point. It seems like they will. I don't know. I don't know why it's so difficult to capture 3DS software. It exists! Like, if, um... Like, Nintendo has to get the software to capture somehow. How they do it, I don't know. I, I only worked in the warehouse, so I never got to see how they handle that stuff. I applied to be an editor for their uh, promos and stuff. But I never heard anything back, probably because I don't have any industry experience. I only have a uh, amateur experience, which is frustrating. Yeah, I don't like the Elgato pretty much at all. It's it's pretty garbage. It gets the thing in to the computer, which is about all I need, but it doesn't do it very well. And also the Switch, it has capture for like the 30 second chunks, which is fun for jokes. I make a lot of like Twitter posts about that and stuff, but you know. Yeah, I don't know. It's it's not great capture. I think a big part of it is just that my computer can't handle the capture. Because when it got better... <clears throat> it got better when I lowered the settings, which implies that, like, my GPU... Or rather, probably not even my GPU, because I don't think this has a GPU, but, um... It's just getting overloaded. So... I should... I plan to get, like, an actual streaming PC with a dedicated, like, video card at some point. But, again, it's just not something I can invest in right now. Especially, like, I'm still working through equipment costs for, um, my board game show, Iggy Kids Whiteboard Games, on YouTube. Which you can check the, uh... With the, the YouTube link in the description, or not the description, the panel below the browser version of the stream will direct you straight to that, and you can watch season one. I'm going to do season two later this year. I'm going to start writing it tomorrow, uh, which is going to be a whole ordeal. I already have the table I'm going to film with. Um, I don't need any new audio equipment because I still have broadcast audio equipment. Bought a camera. Like an actual camera camera, not just a... Uh, I mean, it's like a point-and-shoot, so it's not anything huge, but it's the Canon PowerShot G7X, which is like this, the, the most popular um, vlogging camera, because the back thing, like, flips up, 
so that it's got a low profile, but it's like lets you easily film yourself. But oh, that was, that was pretty sick. Oh yeah, sometimes it works out well. Um, but yeah, I I got that. It's gonna make it a lot easier because the thing is. Filming with my phone, which I did for the first season, and which I've done pretty much for all of my YouTube, is doable. But I got to the point where um, I recognized that I was being held back. Mainly because I, I would, uh, it, it's not the best camera. It doesn't uh, really handle depth well. The encoding is kind of garbage. And I, I don't have an, an exterior monitor, so I can't really see what I'm doing for the most part. Um, it's the, it's really hard to adjust a lot of the settings. It only has digital zoom, which looks pretty terrible. And, uh, the main thing is, like, offloading data was a pain. Because, like, especially with an iPhone, it's like, I could, it, it was easier than it would be with, like, an Android, because I could just airdrop it to my MacBook and go from there, but... Um, the thing is, what the iPhone does with stuff is, even if you permanently delete it, all of the recovery files and everything, it still holds all of your videos in cache for a few days. So, um, the only way to reliably get rid of that, without having to wait for it to deal with it itself, oh, excuse me, is, uh, to completely like, factory reboot the phone. Which I figured out, like, I learned how to do. And it's basically, like, you literally, like, uninstall the entire phone and reinstall, like, like a full restore, not just, like, uh, delete everything software-wise, like a hard reset. And it worked. But it was also a pain to have to, you know, reset my phone every, every week or two, so. It's gonna be good to just have it on an SD card that you can just pop out and... I mean, this doesn't have, like, built-in, but I'll just... I'll get a reader. Or something. Or I can just use USB, you know. Gotta get... Um, so, got the camera, got the table. Need to get better lighting, which I'm, I'm gonna get some desktop... S lights that are designed for, like, food photography and stuff. Which, that's, like, 50 bucks. I gotta get an adapter for my tripod that will help me do, um... Because what I used before was a mic stand with a phone adapter, which worked okay, but it was really wobbly, especially because the table was so light that it would kind of wobble all over during a lot of the shots. So I have a heavier table, and I'm gonna use my actual tripod because it's gonna be a lot more stable. And... God, what's Lena Dunham doing now? I I so hate Lena Dunham. Cause literally, if you don't know, like even if you know who she is, it's like to know who she really is, she's just the daughter of a couple of New York artists. That's it. Like she just the reason that she's popular is because she has connections through her parents. That's why Tiny Furniture, her like basically grad school movie immediately was put in the Criterion collection because her parents knew the Criterion people. Like, I don't care. She's terrible. She's not... She's, nothing she does is really good. Everything I've seen of her, whether it's girls or tiny furniture or any of it, like, I just don't... I don't like her. Yeah, that was unfortunate. Um, so one, Lena Dunham, if you've ever heard of the HB, I think HBO series, Girls. Um, the HBO series, Girls, uh, Lena Dunham is, I believe, the, the main character, she plays the main character, I believe she is the writer, and she's definitely the showrunner. <coughs> and it's not good. It's just like the worst hipster, hipster garbage. And that's coming from someone who likes hipster garbage. Like, it's even outside of my tastes. Um, speaking of Michael Bay, though, uh, yeah, Adam Driver 
or wait, Adam Driver? Maybe it was Oscar Isaacs? One of the guys from the current Star Wars, or well, the, the recent Star Wars trilogy, since it's over now, uh, was in it. Um, speaking of Michael Bay, though, real talk, like, uh, he's not good, but Michael Bay is certainly, like, he knows what he's doing, kind of. It's hard to explain. Um, I would suggest watching the series by Lindsay Ellis, uh, The Whole Plate, or The Full Plate? No, The Whole Plate, uh, which is where she... It's a whole series on YouTube of her explaining different aspects of film theory, like including auteur theory, um, queer theory, uh, women's, uh, the male gaze, and women's theory, all of that, like all of the deep film theory stuff through the Transformers movies. And a big point that she makes in one of them is, uh, it's really difficult to remember anything that happens in the Transformers movies because it's hard to explain. She explains it very well, so I, I would suggest go and watch that. But effectively, he makes really beautiful shots, but there's not very solid continuity visually. Like, there's a, continu a continuum of movement where it's like where you're looking at with your eyes. And each of his shots basically forces you to look all over the place. And there's like, there's very little rhyme or reason for it. Like the edit is terrible. And like each shot looks gorgeous. Like if you look at them, they're very attractive, but. <gasps> oh my God, Dan Housen almost swore. Robot piss. Oh wait, the robot, that's literally like the example she gives for like the thing she forgot about the movie is the robot pissing. Yeah, th that was the second movie, Shia LaBeouf. Um, excuse me, did you say Shia LaBeouf's character? I think you mean motherfucking Sam Witwicky. <laughs> yes, yes, I know his name. Yes, I know most of their names. He was Sam Witwicky. Um, Megan Fox was uh, Michaela something. They forgot about her. As they point out, like, there's, there's a big, um, well, that's the thing is, Lindsay Ellis is a, actually a pretty big fan of the Transformers movies, had seen them multiple times, and she forgot about the robot piss scene, which she explains at the beginning of that video that I was talking about, so, like, definitely go watch the whole plate by her. She will explain much better than I could just, like, how exactly ridiculous those movies are in terms of cinematography. Listen, one, if you know what he's named, then you use his name. Um, another point she makes is that, like, Michaela's character is written as a very strong feel. Like, she is one of the, like, best characters in those movies. She's written very well. But because the camera make like treats her like eye candy that's all anybody remembers her as which is unfortunate because like she actually is one of the strongest female characters in film in general if you would ignore the cinematography Oh damn, that is that is very close to a swear, Andrew. You're correct. I think you had it right. Yeah, yeah, that looks right. Also, I did not realize that that actually is based on, at least the name is based on a character from the show. Cause uh, I only watched Beast Wars, and that was only when I was like really young, so I don't remember a lot of it.
Come on. Come on. Oh, oh, come on. No. Uh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. I can bank this. Hold on. Oh, oh no. Wait. Oh, no. It's very close. Okay. Buster Witwicky. <laughs> Yeah, I will say I remember as a kid really liking the tur the, the the Transformers. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I I've, I've considered going back and watching some of those. According to like some people, there was the one. Oh, what one was it? There was one that had um Steve Bloom in it that was supposed to be pretty great. And the, the IDW comics are supposed to be really good, too. But I have not had a chance to read those. In general, like, the IDW, uh, My Little Pony, and Transformers comics are, like, according to a lot of people, better than pretty much anything the actual shows did. Everything I've read of the MLP comics has been, like, pretty clearly, like better than a lot of what the show has done for the last ever <laughs> there's a lot of the comic stories that are just way better than the show ever was even at its peak hell yeah gay robot that's exactly why it sounds good it's gay robots and robots of various genders which kind of, I mean, they probably ruminate about this, but like, kind of brings into question, it's like, what does gender even mean to a robot? Because even if they are coded as female, or coded as, like, male, is, does that matter to them? Unless they are programmed as such? I don't know. It's, a, it's an interesting sci-fi concept, and I feel, and I'm glad that at least, at least one property has like approached it. So this is the third one. This is when things start getting hard in most of these Paggle games. Well, that's the thing, is that... Listen, I'm of the opinion that the show got pretty bad after season five. Um, it, in, in ranking order, it's like the first season was, like, especially the first, like, premiere episodes were incredibly impressive. Um, as far as American TV goes. Although I would say that, um... I would say that... I, I would say that, like, when Steven Universe came out, uh, it did what MLP was trying to do even better. Um, so the first season was pretty solid. Second season was even better. Totally dropped the ball on season three because they decided to make it, like, half as long they like complete like the animation is just awful like I, I've rewatched some of those season three episodes and it's like god it, it's so ugly season three is pretty bad um which is interesting because season four is probably the best season I would say like it's coming back like I, I like stopped watching for quite a while because season three was so bad and then season three was actually like 
incredibly good. And then with season five with like Starlight Glimmer, I think is really should have been the end of the show. Like they should have just ended it there. That that is the strongest moment that they had. Period. Like that's just the best that the show ever got was season five. They should have stopped it right there. And gone out on a strong note. But then they decided to just keep going and ring another four seasons out of it. And they just got worse and worse. Well, it, it's somewhat constrained, but the, that's the thing is so many people are like, it's a toy show. Like, oh, look, well, I wonder when this is going to be a toy. Most of the stuff on the show that they introduced and a lot of the characters never became toys. Which is so odd to me, because, like, people talk about it, like, as, like, a, a toy show, but, like, it kind of wasn't, for the most part. Like, all, all of the pillars of Harmony never showed up as toys, at least as far as I know. I don't remember ever seeing any of them turn into toys, even though that felt like the reason they did that. I don't think I saw very many, if any, toys of, like, the new six. Most of the toys were characters that just never showed up and were just made up for the toys. So, I don't know. I feel like it was not really as constrained as people want to want to give it. And I am mildly hopeful that this new um this new iteration will be good. Yeah. They ended it a good 4 seasons too late, but they did end it and they're starting mostly fresh i would say i really wish they would do uh lindsay ellis's or not lindsay ellis i've been saying lindsay ellis a lot that's why i said that and because they're friends uh jenny nicholson when there was that leak about what was going to happen with g5 is um she came up with her own idea of how she would handle g5 and she, she called that video the Applejack problem, and in it, she ex describes how she would do G5. And it's honestly a great pitch because it specifically addresses, like, these would be great toys, like... I guess they didn't plan ahead with the merchandise, I don't know. But that's my point with the Jenny Nicholson one, is like, she specifically, like, her pitch not only was like about the story, but she's also like, this is the story and the story is around making awesome toys. Cause she's really into toys. She was into like My Little Pony toys before the show, but like she, she has a great argument and it sounds like it'd be super fun. It's all the same like main six, but like they're, they're crooked just enough to not only be like even more fun, but also, for all of them to be different types of ponies so that they can actually, like, be more marketable. Like, you can have multiple toys with multiple different creatures. That's really smart. I don't know. I, I'd say, if you're interested at all, go watch The Applejack Problem by Jenny Nicholson. It's like a half hour long. It's a great pitch for a show that is never going to happen. Which is a little sad and disappointing, but it happens. Oh, that water was cold. Ooh, that water was very cold. Give me a sec. <sighs> you ever feel that when you drink something that's a little too hot or a little too cold and it just... Oh, it just, like, shocks your esophagus? Especially, like, right... The valve to your stomach? I don't know what it's called. Steel injection molding? What do you mean? Like, I recognize that it's expensive, but... What exactly... What exactly are you... Are you saying that would be used for? I feel like I'm missing a joke. Whoop, whoop. Nice. I think I'm gonna finish off this level and then probably call it a night. I don't... 
Uh, I don't end up burning my mouth or tongue all that often. It's, um, it's just, yeah, my esophagus. Especially just, like, I'll drink a lot of tea because it's a good recovery drink after, you know, talking for quite a while, whether it's on stream or recording voiceovers. And, um, yeah, every now and then, the, the water cooler we have, it does hot water, which is nice. And it's not boiling, so you can drink it right away, but it's just hot enough that it, it doesn't hurt until you, like, actually, like, try and get it down. Oh, okay, you mean, like, the... I thought you meant, like, making the thing out of steel. But yeah. Well, you don't even necessarily have to. Like, you can make a, um... Andrew, help me out here. What, uh... I know you know how to make stuff, Mr. Benj. What what would you use as a mold for like resin or plastic? If you're still watching. Oh my god, I'm having the worst trouble with this level. It's mostly that I'm not paying that much attention to it. Silicone, yeah, silicone would be way cheaper than steel. I feel like reusable enough, if you made it well enough. Ooh. Ooh. I, I always feel like I could use more, um, get more out of the spooky ball power up there's so much potential with it but like I end up not using it nearly nearly effective enough I think I don't know what do the pagel masters have to say and are these like actual pagel masters people what are masters of pagel Well, the question, the question is, is less like cost. Like if we're saying like for mass uh, manufacturer of toys. So like how, how many uses can you get out of a silicone mold before you, uh, you would start to see degradation in a uh, detail? I was, I was all set. Oh man. This level's hard. It's it's deceptively tricky. It's all these weird shapes, I think. Although I do really like this background. With the with the little little kitty cats. It's just with something arcadey like this, it's frustrating because you you lose all that progress. I guess that's pinball. There's this tabletop game that um that is coming out later this year, and you can get like a print and play demo of it, where it's just basically pinball but like with dice, 
So it turns pinball into more of a strategy thing. And it looks really, really interesting. Um, yes? Y no. Oh boy, last ball. Oh, come on, I know I can get this. Let's see, we wanna go there. Oh, come on. Oh, oh, there we go, okay. Right. That's the thing is like, yeah, we're saying like, it's expensive to make a mold. So that's why the, the My Little Pony toys that you could get would generally be the same mold. So like they had the same six characters, the main six characters, and then they just recolored them and like made up names for them rather than do stuff. But it's like, that's the thing is so many people are like, well, they got to sell toys and that's why the show started to suck. But like, they weren't selling toys of all these new characters and these new crappy ideas. So like... Why did they do it if they weren't going to sell toys? I don't know. I don't know. That all being said, I'm I'm going to call it here. My brain hurts. I, I have a headache. So thanks for watching along. Thanks for being a lively chat. I, I usually don't get any messages, if not more than a few. So I really appreciate you guys actually saying stuff in the chat. Um... And I will be back tomorrow to do my Animal Crossing check-in. As usual on Monday, I'm going to get back to that. Uh, and then, yeah, the same schedule as usual. I'm going to try and figure this Banjo-Kazooie situation out so that I can play this emulated game. If I can't get it working, I'm just going to move on to Banjo-Tooie for now until I can figure out a better way to do the emulator. Um, I'm also doing Help the Hero on Friday, which... I was going to do it this Friday, but I had to watch a child, so I didn't have time. But I will do that this Friday. Should be pretty fun. I should be able to get through the whole game. As I've said, it's just a Flash game, but it's a really good Flash game. Speaking of which, if Flash games, if there are any that you like, you should go and download them because all of the browsers are going to stop supporting it by the end of this year. So Flash will just not exist really anymore outside of desktop versions. So, yeah. I know. I'm so sad to see Flash go. There's so much, like, huge history of animation and games on the internet from it. Uh, a lot of it, not great. But, like, if people don't archive it, it's, like, it's just going to be gone forever. And you can run Flash on your computer, so you can just do it on your desktop if you download the Flash files. It's just, um... You gotta go do it. So go do it. Make sure you go save all of your favorite Flash stuff before you run out of time. And yeah, I'll, I'll have that. Check the schedule. Check the archive channels and stuff. Check out the past broadcasts, please. And thank you. Be sure to follow if you haven't. All of that. Thank you very much for watching now. And thank you if you watch in the future on the past broadcast. Let me check that last message. That's true. Yeah, even bad. Even bad bad works of art even like poorly produced media there's still stuff to glean from that and i i i appreciate archival of any art good or bad because once it's gone there's no way for us to know if there was anything valuable in it to begin with so that being said thanks again and good night everyone goodbye 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 goodbye